All right, folks, I'm meeting these people with some Nintendo games and Sega Genesis games. Fifty bucks. Yeah. All right. He don't. Yeah, you know, like I said, he just built a new house. He works a captain. He ain't got. There you go. He ain't got. He ain't got. Right. Good morning YouTube. It is Friday morning and it is 6.20 a.m. Getting ready to go hit up some community sales. Uh, we got a big one about 40 miles away and uh, so we're going to make a day of it. Alright, you ready? Let's go. You think you might have some more though? Yeah, but did you say you brought him if you didn't? He don't know yet. Buddy. Okay. He All just right. come up. I'll check back by. Okay. Donkey Kong Country 2. Three bucks. No, I'm a little background. Everything. I'm a little old. 36. So I'm 48. <laughs> it ain't nothing was, but a number. I grew up on Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes, you know what I mean? Oh, see, Tweety Bird, that was my jam until Pikachu came around and I was like, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. Oh, shoot. That is funny. <laughs> My other half is going to be like, why? And I'm going to be like, hello. Did you forget who I was? You're right. And then he's going to be like, no, I can't forget who you are. I know who you are. <laughs> I will remind you. <laughs> That's what I love about you, how sporadic you can be. Except for my wallet. That's the only thing I got. Alright, so I got, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight games and the two zappers. Uh, 20 bucks? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
So the dollar. There you are. Just like that, they are. All right. Thank you. Thank you. you did make sure it's in there. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I got these two items. Five bucks. Five bucks. Thank you, sir. Whole Wii system with gains, five bucks. I'll take it.
Yeah. You said you wanted 10 for that? Yeah. All right. I'll take it. Okay. Oops. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. How much? Two dollars. Two dollars. Say four bucks. I'm just gonna take one. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, YouTube, so this is everything that I have left from this week's pickups, minus the items that you have seen already sold. 
previously and earlier in the video. So we'll just start from the back and work our way to the front. Alright, so I picked up a Wii bundle with Wiimotes, nunchucks, all the cables, Mario Kart and Rayman, Raving Rabbids 2, all for $5. A Yogi Bear that I've never seen um, for $4. Hot Shots Golf 4 with Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch for $21. Bucks. Picked up this Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock guitar bundle for $10. I came up on this yard sale and I saw it. Asked her how much she wanted for it. She said 10 bucks. I left the sale. After I left the sale, I looked it up and saw how much it was going for. So around 45, 50, 50 bucks, maybe even more. So I was like, you know what? $10 is a good deal. Now inside, everything is still wrapped up. Uh, the game inside is still brand new, never opened. And so um, it doesn't look like it was ever used. So I went back and I picked it up. This copy of Wii Sports was actually behind the manual in the copy of Wii Sports that I picked up from the pawn shop with some of those NES games and, and the Blu-rays. And so that was a surprise disc there. I already sold the, the other case with the game and manual, um, so that was just an extra bonus. This version of Wii Sports in the long case, the Nintendo Selects, um, pretty uncommon. And uh, picked that up with a copy of Mario Kart. I sold the Mario Kart locally for 18 bucks, so that's why you only see one copy here. These Wii Wheels were also included in that Wii bundle. Now, whenever I see these Nerf uh, in-strike bullet drums, um, these sell very well on eBay. You can get uh, anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks for them. They're pretty light. Uh, they should be able to fit inside a small box or a mailer, bubble mailer, and um, so you can always make some good money on those. And they come in bigger sizes too. Uh, at the pawn shop, picked up a six button Sega controller as well as a uh, Nintendo N64 controller on the cheap. They had like 75% off on them, so went ahead and snatched those up. These were all of the NES games that turned out to be duplicates that I picked up throughout the week. I didn't pay more than $2 um, for the games. So these are excellent bundler games when I come across another Nintendo. I did sell that Nintendo lot for $180. So now I've got a few more extra um, duplicates on, on hand. These two are already listed. And these cases right here, the Legendary Starfy, Battles Ninjago, Madagascar 3, these were empty cases that I found at a yard sale. The lady just said I could have them. I always need DS cases, and I'm always coming across loose cartridges. So if I can complete a game, uh, great. Damage Inc., I I've never seen this game. Um, it goes for around 14 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. I've never seen it. And when I found it at the pawn shop, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. The Sega GT 2002 uh, is an only on Xbox exclusive with Jet Set Radio Future. I did not have this. And for Xbox, only exclusives are in my collection. So I went ahead and picked that up. Uh, Wild 9, I found at the pawn shop along with... Um, Mortal Kombat Trilogy and Legend of Dragoon. I've already sold uh, both of those, and so this is going into the collection. All of these NES games and Super Nintendo games are going into the collection. On top, we've got Pac-Mania. That's about an $18 to $20 game. Uh, Rad Racer, the 5-screw variant. I had the 3-screw, and so the 5-screw is now going into the collection. Fester's Quest, Joust, the five screw variant of Legend of Zelda, which you saw uh, in a previous video earlier this week. Silent Service, Spy Hunter, Tecmo Bowl, Bigfoot, Wolverine, Kid Icarus, and Al Unser Jr. Turbo Racing did not pay more than $2 a piece for all of these, which is fantastic. 
Now I picked up some some rather common sports titles for the Super Nintendo. I'll tell you why here in a minute. But we got Riddick Bow Boxing, Bubsy, Nigel Mansell's World Championship, Nickelodeon Guts, uh, Mortal Kombat, and Art of Fighting. These are all going in the collection, but a few of these are just for what if purposes. And what I mean by that is, what if I come across a really good game and the back just, just looks horrible? I can easily take one of these sports titles that are worth only like a you know two dollars or more or you know or less and uh use the back off of them to replace games that are are worth a lot more um so I pick up sports titles just in case I need the backs off of them um this Nintendo sleeve was a freebie at the yard sales, and then my favorite find was definitely Contra three. For two dollars and Bomberman 2 Super Bomberman 2 for two dollars it is a, it does have some wear on it but for two dollars I'm not complaining um, the Nintendo zappers were also two dollars each and then we've got the Texas TI 83 plus calculator the graphing calculators these always sell very well on eBay and I believed I paid $2.50 um, for this at the yard sale today. I got the calculator and the uh, the Nerf drum for 5 bucks, so $2.50. And then we've got this awesome PlayStation 4 controller. I was able to get this for $10. I had a $10 off coupon for the uh, the pawn shop, and they had a $20 tag on this. I used my coupon, got it down to 10 bucks, and it works great. Charged it up, synced it to my PS4, and uh, yeah, came in this really nice case too. I've not seen that case before. But there you have it, folks. There is this week's pickups. Now this thing right here, this is a Switch uh, video converter. Uh, you can plug in several... Um, consoles into the back of this and then plug this in to your television and uh, you can select um, your different consoles straight from it. I found this at a yard sale today for two dollars and I uh, definitely needed one. I'd been going back and forth you know pulling plugs and plugging things in but I also didn't mention these. These are just some extras that I will bundle with a Genesis later on in the year once I come across one. But there you have it, folks. There is this week's haul. I get to add several uh, NES titles to the collection, as well as SNES titles to, to the collection, and uh, some great uh, Wii U and Switch games. I don't even have a Switch, but when I saw this for 20 bucks, I was like, yeah, I got to pick that up before <laughs> somebody else does. Um... So whenever I do have a, get a Switch, I'll have a fantastic game to start off on. All right, folks, if you've enjoyed the content, go ahead and leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. I cannot stress that enough. That bell icon will send notifications to your phone every single time I upload new content or any other YouTuber that you follow and subscribe to whenever they upload new content. But I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.